Hi, this is Mike and we're looking at the Euro dollar chart. This is my second take on this video. Uh, my internet was playing up, so I had to basically start again. So if you have a look at my previous idea on the Aussie dollar, I just posted not long ago. Basically, I have finally found the count that suggests that we are moving up sharply in five waves, not just in the Aussie dollar, but in the Euro, which basically puts us in a wave E position. And to be honest with you, the larger picture is clearer on the US dollar than it is on the Euro, but I will be having a closer look at that. But the Aussie dollar basically spells it out quite clearly. So we are expecting a five wave move higher, right? So here we've, we're only seeing wave one and two of the major five waves up um, and um, one, I believe two of wave three is in progress at the moment. So I'll explain to you how I came to this conclusion. So first we have our zigzag wave one. So A followed by A, B, C, D, E, and then C. So wave one zigzag, sharp wave two, wave three, small wave four, and then zigzag wave five, right? So that's what I believe is wave one. It's a weak five wave move. It's a type one weak five wave move, meaning that we moved up in zigzags. But interestingly enough, we uh, didn't overlap at all with waves one and two and four. So interesting in itself, but we found support at the high end for wave two in a full correction. So for me right there, that, that looks like a complete correction. I'll just zoom in a little bit. So that entire sideways movement since the 15th of December all the way to the 7th of Jan, to me, that looks like a complete correction. So I think we're going to be range bound to this area here now. Um, basically, we had wave one finished on the 10th of Jan. Then we had an A, uh, a type, uh, type two week five wave move for A. Then we had A, B, C, D, E, and then C for B. And now I believe we are in wave C. So obviously the previous idea that I posted was incorrect due to a break of the high. But given this new count, which basically evolved from the Aussie dollar, uh, it spells quite a different picture there. So pretty interesting indeed. However, um, obviously we'll need to just be careful with how we uh, move from move forward from here. So in order to to really uh, understand this pattern, it took a lot of work, uh, a lot of different thought processes, but most importantly, a few days off from looking at the charts. So here it's slowly been coming together, but now it's sort of the full pictures come into view where we basically had just a pretty big B wave happen there. Uh, that B wave took about, in my opinion, close to 12 days right and if you compare that to wave a that only took like not even a day so quite expanded um to me this indicates that there is strength in the euro i mean if we're in a wave three it would indicate that absolutely it would um but just something tells me that the aussie dollar is going to outperform um, i did show the euro Aussie dollar chart on my Aussie dollar idea. So that one was, I suppose, pretty significant um, with what I expect to happen in terms of Euro versus Aussie dollar strength. Um, yeah, this does make things a little bit more interesting in general. Um, it kind of confirms the wave E idea so that there to me is going to really make me think about how it's going to affect cryptos. Although I 
don't believe it's going to cause any massive bull market because what we're seeing now is the move that happens before we get into a massive, massive bear market. But I don't think that bear market's going to happen until we see this move complete. Um, cryptos don't always make that last high um, compared to like the stock market. Uh, given that this is a, a wave E, um, it is the last move in a correction. So how that affects cryptos in general. I would, I would just refer to my previous analysis. I believe that still stands true. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything apart from that happening there. If anything changes, I'll let you know. At this stage, though, it seems that um, we're getting ready for a melt-up in the euro and the Aussie dollar. So um, in terms of where we will correct uh, at this stage, it's pretty hard to tell. If we're looking at this first move up, I mean, I'd, I'd expect at least a drop down to the end of wave one. Um, it could go lower. It might end up going down to 50%, which would be a fantastic place to go long uh, if it managed to drop down that far or even 0.618. Um, that's possible given that it's around the same area of the previous wave four of wave three. So I would not be surprised if it did that. And if it did, like I said, probably a really good place to go long. Um, if you get that kind of pullback, just because we are in a corrective pattern and we do see a clear wave one, um, and we have got an expanded correction, which obviously means that although there is strength, there is a short-term weakness. So that's probably why we'll see wave C smash lower. Uh, whether we'll see a CDE pattern is another story. I'm not sure. Uh, we could see a CDE pattern for that to happen, or it may not happen. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll take it as it comes, and I'll keep you updated. So hopefully you found this one interesting and informative. Thank you for watching.